throwing all their cards. I don't think they need to save anything back in their sleeves anymore because again, they are fighting for their tournament lifeline. If they lose this game, they are out of the tournament. I absolutely agree, but I'm not going to lie. Evos' lineup right now with that sort of team composition looks very reliable in comparison to our esports. Dude, you know, I have a, I have a, I have a good <laughs> feeling there's going to be a third game in this again. I mean, I, I do want to see the third game. Mm -hmm. I hope that everybody here at Sunway Pyramid also wants to see the third game. Let me hear you. Are you ready for EVOS SG and NARA SG? That's a crowd. That's I sort of crowd. looked at someone. I was like, you better shout right now. <laughs> I gave him the look. All right, apologies <laughs> to Faraz here, my dear friend, Habibi. Uh, unfortunately, you know what? He is a very kind guy. Don't worry about it. He stares at you means he wants something from you. Hey. Nothing special. I just want the third <laughs> game, man. We're jumping Double into this legends. matchup. I'm going to pass it back to you guys. Right. KBC, Five Gideon, take it away and tell me what you think is going to happen. Well, Smash let's see them. how they arrange the lanes. What kind All of tactics are they going to go for these early invades from the side of Evos, or are they going to play on their side of the map? Oh, my goodness. I mean, you know, again, standard rotations, back and forth. Whoever gets the first pick, you know, just definitely going definitely to increase their lead in terms of goal as well. But then again, Nara, I mean, he had to be very aggressive. Ag aggressive, yet cautious. I think that's the term that we need to use. Yeah. And now let's see how they're going to play this. Minotaur is going to hold the wave in the mid side as they stack a lot of auto alarm bombs that help clear out the jungle really, really quickly for the side of Hellcurt. Hellcurt over here, I think it's just a bit, a little bit slower on the rotations though. I'm not sure what happened. Uh, well, Hellcurt did take the buff, uh, did oh, take the buff on okay. the bottom side. Yeah, All because right. Selena was trying to pick the top side buff. Okay, I think she is level 2 right now, so they want to go for this fight, but Grok no. does not care! Oh wow, an early fight one more time. Can we see a first blood below 2 minutes at the very least? Nara Esports, they're gonna get a little bit chipped down onto that Diggy. And as well, Chao comes into play. He wants to use the Jin Kundo to run away, so that is a disengage at this moment. Yeah, overall, I do think Evos will come out of these trades fairly well. They did get a lot of damage, and Ace is finding these big chunks that Evos is just completely... Uh, I'm sorry, Nara was completely disrespecting. Nara disrespecting. I don't think they should be disrespecting anything at this moment, but yes, they are trying to deny the jungle bars. They are trying to at least salvage enough of the goal or try to steal away whatever from Evos Esports right now. And it looks like the teams are going back to their regular lanes. They're trying to hit the level 4 as soon as possible. Both teams still level 3 at the moment. Yeah, they're gonna give over the buff and let's see how they want to play this out because now Fenrir is gonna be on the signature soon. Selena. He's gonna be looking for these big picks and when you think he's out, he's just not. He's ready to go back again and take you on in lane. If he finds those picks, you're almost guaranteed to die. So the red direction already over there at the bottom lane of the pit. So the players will have to start the fights right now. Man B back with his Lunox, able to get the level 4. On the opposite end, it will be Eric with the level 4 onto the Hellcurt. He can pop anytime the Dark Knight falls. Dark when the Dark Knight falls, he needs to find the right timing. Yeah, he does. And now you can see Evos already gaining priority over this turtle here. Can they contest it? It doesn't look like they can because Eric has the recall. Femi does have the re retribution as well, I believe. So anytime he can go in for the secure onto the turtle, but then Kolia is just playing and toying with oh them. Dear first oh dear Femi! Oh, okay, Hayabusa gets the first kill onto there. Kolia in a lot of trouble. He has to fall back. And even though the turtle resets, but hey, you know what? First blood goes into the hands of Evo C from the G. Oh wait, is, can they actually go for more? Looks like XM, X, XM, XM, XM. Well, it's just a little off from actually maintaining priority against the enemy team. I mean, when you're up against Potato, it is difficult to match his wave clear and just how much of a duelist he is overall. XM, XM has to play perfectly. And because he was chucked out because of previous interactions, forcing him to recall, and the same thing happened to Eric, they had no priority over the lanes, allowing Evos to actually rotate on them. Yeah, I do agree on that. The positioning was a little bit off there as well. So they couldn't see anything for the start of the show. Because, but we have to wait and see these two teams. The first turtle is still alive. It was anyone's taking right there, but they need to start the skirmish in the hand. It looks like Nara Esports now hovering into the enemy jungles over here, hoping to get away with something. Yeah, you can see just a lot of Nara members playing on that top side here. They, they've completely sacrificed the turtle in terms 
uh, in terms of being able to do anything, but Ayabusa, he knows he doesn't want to go into that jungle at all. He's scared. He has to be scared though, don't really want to deal with so many members over there. It looks like Thomas will get a turtle, and Evos, Evos SG will play turtle number one, giving them a little bit more gold and experience in hand. It looks like Odia Bambi will pop the ultimate of power of brilliance here. They will disengage at this moment. Yeah, they did exactly. I mean, Forza could have used his ultimate there if he really, really wanted to, but I don't think it was worth his time. Eric is getting really chunked out here because it's kind of difficult for Eric to actually deal with the Hayabusa. There's not a lot of counterplay, but Potato might be in some trouble here. Quad Shadow popped. Very nice uh, tubes coming in from the Quad Shadow, but I have to turn around as well. And speaking of which, Potato versus Eric in terms of the Assassin, I feel like Hayabusa has the upper advantage in this. Perhaps Eric will want to change lanes, but hey, you see four heroes going over there. Sorry, three heroes against two at the top lane right now. It looks like Forza, he's trying to mount the Fortress over here, trying to start something. He does have the Evade, but it's not going to be away from there. JPL, holding on to this turret properly is all safe at this moment. Yeah, as the rest of the team all oh, hold up, let's take a look back here. Potatoes, quite a bit of damage! Oh, Forza, he's doing a lot of damage as well. He's going to try to run away, he's going to flicker back as well. Kolya with the journey time, and maybe more to come. But Thomas will get the kill onto the bull, and Evos, they want to charge it forward. They want to march in into enemy me lines and they will try to take it up but it's all over they don't need to come into this one kill is enough and back away it seems so looks like the rest of the team wars to take the buff to heal up a little bit they might lose this top tier one and evos is setting up to make sure that they guarantee it but nara they're willing to give it away knowing that their bot side is being pushed out by xmxmxm oh fernria going up against Soul Soul has to run away he needs to speed it up right there and now he's gonna fall back nara oh. Oh. I mean, both teams created one for one in terms of those turrets. Uh, is this going to persist? Is this going to be a bloodbath like we saw before? Or is Evos going to find a hole in Nara's strategy to punish them? Turtle resurrected soon. It's like a very slow paced game this time around. They are just focusing more on objectives. It's like just killing off the turret and then just bail away. If they get to manage to get a kill, it's a bonus plus for them. But at this moment, it's just very, very slow paced. Perhaps they just want to build the experience lead and have an upper advantage later onwards when they go for fights. Yeah, but I mean, it's really difficult, especially with the Evo's transfer. Same thing happened. Hold up! Oh, yeah, the here, yeah, the quad. Oh, the only shadow kill comes into play. It looks like Hayabusa wants to run away, but then it's not enough. Logos here, it will be Diggy to kill off the ninja before Grok kills off the owl. And now they will disengage again. There's no fighting backwards. Uh, but then Fenrir is in a lot of trouble. But Luna is able to kill off this Hellcat. It looks like Nara Esports only have three members alive against four. They have to fall back. Fenrir will get double killed by the Twilight Goddess of Fenrir. Woo! Woo! This game is just non-stop action. Only are trying to get out of this really, really awkward situation here. But again, 2k goal in favor of Evos. Nara are still maintaining even though that they are slightly down. I mean, Nara, every second of goal lost. This is not looking too good for them. They need those experience. They need the snowball level that he came inside here. Even though Eric is already level 9, but if you look at the channel over here, three heroes on the side of Evo, Evo, and are level 9 as well. Yeah, and I think in terms of EXP, they're kind of somehow still maintaining here because Nara goes with these aggressive plays to go into their jungle and steal away as much as they can just to maintain the gold differential. They don't want to fall further behind. Like, you can see that they're slowly pushing to that DK mark. And if it goes anywhere above 5, I think Evos will be in a comfortable spot to dictate the pace, where they're going to fight, and what part of the map is going to get punished. So it looks like second turtle has been taken already from... Oh, sorry, that was the last turtle was taken away from Evos. As Evos continues on, yeah, fight, yeah, defense over here. Didn't take down SMXM, but then it looks like so. He is in the dungeon drive by the head. Burnier, he's down a lot. HP, it will be the Thomas that gets the kill. And so will die eventually by the Selena. It will be a trade, the one to one kill over here. Ace chasing in with the power of nature. That big ball of rock is saying, Can you smell what's cooking? It's the rock, ladies and gentlemen. It's the rock. But then Kolia is going to run away safely back into safe zone. They're looking to punish wherever they can. It's three to two turrets. Now I need to find one more. And you can see the Helker can actually keep pushing here. He tell the team tells him to keep going. <laughs> Four you members. Know, you need to run away for stuff. But the Mio Fury is not enough to save yourself as you will fall to four members at the very least, or three. 
too many members dedicated on someone that wasn't enough significance to hurt the enemy team. There are no objectives on the map, you can actually fight one. Now, Bale can be defended here if Nara play the cards right. Oh no, Ivoso, look at that. He's gonna get sliced and diced by the fighters of Nara and maybe the assassins. But then again, Helcut, Eric has been taken down. XMX, he needs to run away. There's so many people around him. This is behind enemy lines. Lord, He's not dead. Power of nature. One swing, one death for you, my dear friend. And Potato is just sealing the deal on this lead, making sure that no matter what Nara does, he's got a push going and you can't stop him. And the Lord, almighty Lord, has made his presence, ladies and gentlemen, at the top side of the game. My favorite side, by the way, Gideon, if you don't know. You know, right? Yeah. So yeah. Anyhow, <laughs> going back into the game, the Lord will be fought against the almighty Tigers right here. Evos Esports, they want to take this Nara Esports. The Eagles definitely have that on their side. They need to find the right time to steal. But then Evos, they are securing it really well. A nice up Mr. Arrow comes in. Hayabusa kills on the Nikki first. And maybe Evos to come. And Evos, they're going to steal. They're going to secure this lot. If the uh, Eagles don't do something right now, Nara, they lost the Lord. It looks like Hayabusa gets the kill. But then Miracle Fury comes into play. It looks like Evos is in a lot of trouble. They are in the part of Hot it's not looking too good. Eric comes in with a double kill. Maybe more to come. Look at this. Look at Sol running for his dear life. He's running away from fear. From the night bed. It's not enough. Sol, one versus three. Just sleep, my dear friend. You will come back after the graveyard ends. Wow. Wow, I did not think I did not think Nara was actually capable of pulling that off. Evos had such a significant advantage, but when they started losing members, they started dropping quick and they couldn't even get away because of the cards board. Now, Lord is walking through and Nara have punished Evos enough that they can take on Lord without having to worry too much. That's the thing. You have to realize that this Lord is a level one Lord. He's not like those level two or level threes which could just, you know, just to be much more tankier, much more damaging. And you know, Evos, they Wasted this opportunity, they die, and Nara is able to defend that lane easily. Yeah, and I think this is going to be pushing on even further. Now that Evos is at a, at a good 4k, it's kind of tough to say that they still are out of their lane. Because right now, Nara oh, is getting up. punished! <laughs> I have no idea what Mosa did, but he got caught over there. I think perhaps by, you know, three members over there just CC him down, and now they lost their tank. What's next? I mean, this inhibitor turret is going to be a good point of contention for both of these teams. All right, they can still fight back if they want to. They need to find somebody to sustain the damage, or the very least, backstab from behind. But Evo say, no, no, no. We are the Tigers. We roll right now. I want you. I want blood. Enemy turret will be destroyed. Maybe another one to drop down over here. Evo looking so strong. They want to end this game. The Eagles are losing their feathers from time to time. The pressure is mounting up. One more Evo Turret left alive for Nara Esports SG. Woo! But now Nara, they've all they've lost two of their inhibitor turrets. This is just this is gonna be rough. It's gonna be a rough game overall because right now Evos have set the pace of the game and put them on a timer. Oh, two nice time coming in here, but then Evos they still have the royal electrician. I have a child get the first left onto the skirmish. Evos right now! Yeah, he's back zone! Looks like a mega kill, I have put the custom kill! It will be a full day kill! Left for life, child! Only member surviving it's the over. damage. It's very hard. XNXM saving great right there. Oh, he's gonna get burned down by all. Yeah, baby. It's over. Nara. They have minions. Nara. They've ended them. No. They've ended Nara. The curse is real, ladies and gentlemen. The regular team.